Hello, I'm Hervé Jeanne from the String Metrics channel. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I will compare 14 different um, condenser microphones on the double bass. I have all kinds of microphones for these tests. There are some uh, really expensive ones, some cheap ones. Uh, I have a U67, I have a U47. The U47 is not a Neumann U47, it's from Voxorama but it's made from original parts, so specialists know that the Voxorama U47 is really a U47. The reason why I also included cheaper mics was that I think it's always interesting to see if the cheaper mics really sound that much cheaper than the expensive ones. So I'm really curious to hear your opinion on all these microphones. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Before we get to the test, we're going to do some microphone placement testing. Um, basically, there are hundreds of ways you could put a microphone in front of a double bass. Uh, for today's uh, placement test, I chose five positions. Maybe this will be helpful for you too. The test itself will again be a blindfold test. You will not see the names of the microphones. You will only see numbers, so make sure you have something to take notes and at the end of the video you will get the results. So now the mic is pointing straight to the top of the base, right in the middle, 90 degrees angle, and the distance is 15 centimeters. Now the same thing, but distance will be now 20 centimeters. And now 25 centimeters. For the next example, the mic is slightly out of axis. It doesn't point in a 90 degrees angle to the top of the bass. I moved it slightly towards the F hole on the G side and the microphone is pointing to the G string. And now same thing, but the microphone has been moved a little bit more in direction of the uh, F-hole on the G-string side. But still, the microphone is pointing to the G-string. And now we have the opposite principle. The microphone is right in the center of the bass, but it is pointing slightly to the G string or to the F hole of the G string. And now let's hear again what it sounds like when the microphone is pointing directly to the F hole. Personally, I like the position where the microphone was just slightly off axis and pointing to the, to the G string. So this is the position we're going to use for this test. One more thing. At first, I wanted to make all the bounces without any effects, no EQ whatsoever. But when I listened to the sound samples through uh, headphones like the Sennheiser HD25, I realized that all the, uh, all the sound clips had so much low end so I decided to EQ out just a little bit the low end, so the EQ looks like this. And I must say for all the microphones, this 
had a positive effect. So let's begin. Microphone number two. Microphone number three. Microphone number four. Microphone number five. Microphone number six. Microphone number seven. Microphone number eight. Microphone number nine. Microphone number ten. Microphone number 11. Microphone number 12. Microphone number 13. Microphone number 14.
So here are the results of the blindfold test. Number one was the Rode or Röde NT2A. Number two was the Audio Technica 4060 tube mic. Number three was the Neumann TLM 103. Number four was the MXL 2006. Number five was the Voxorama U47. Number six was the Sennheiser MKH40. Number seven was the Audio Technica 804041, small, con small diaphragm con condenser. Number eight was the Neumann uh, KM84. It's not the 184, the, the one you get nowadays. It's the vintage version, the KM84. Number nine was the Neumann M149. Number 10 was the AKG C414BULS. Number 11 was the famous Neumann U87. Number 12 was the MXL990. Uh, number 13 was the legendary Neumann U67. And number 14 is an Audio Technica mic. It's the 8813R. It's an older microphone that I still have in my, my studio. I like it a lot, but it's not a microphone you would find around too much. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's worth it to spend five, six, seven thousand dollars for the really expensive microphones? Or do you think that the microphones that are just one or two, three hundred euro just as good as the expensive ones? I would be interested to know and let me know which ones you like the most and why. I'm looking forward to your comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't do this yet. And also hit the bell if you want to get noticed about new videos coming up. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.